Yeah. Give me a break. This is this is abuse. Your your body told you to stop, and you said sorry. Good grief! Wow, I you don't know. feel like way more loosened up than I have in years. So just just neck pain, both sides, and that's has that has that changed in over the years? Um, it seems like a lot of it is scaling muscles. Okay. I mean, I literally you can feel nodules, and I don't know if they're um, trigger points or what they are, but they're tender to the touch. Okay. I self treat those a little bit. Okay. When you have a car accident, I mean, before we go deeper in this, when you have a car accident, your body expects it to happen again. So whenever you have an injury, your body puts up walls, fortifications, in guard mode, because it thinks you're gonna. <laughs> Right. go through that again and so part of care is it's necessary after an accident is to not let you go into avoidance first yeah. of all that's the first thing your body will change your posture to move the pressure off what's injured and then it will lock down what's injured that's part of what you're seeing my scalings are tell the time well that must have been what the scalings are just part of what your body's using to protect right. a deeper structure that has had injuries or now there's arthritis or crystals in there when's the last time you had any pictures taken of your neck Jeez, it's been a long least, time. At least 10 years ago. Okay. All right. Well, typically what we see, and just kind of backing up a little bit, mm -hmm. when there are 24 segments in our spinal column, five have all surgery. And there's really no TV commercial that highlights this or lets us know that, that we have a disproportionate amount of aging or arthritis in the last two segments in the lower back and the last three segments in the lower neck to the point where that's almost exclusively where, exclusively where everybody has surgery. Right. When we have a whiplash, typically the alignment that you're in before the whiplash, and which is predicated by all the years of school, guitar since right. eight years old. So we're doing a lot of this, yeah. not a lot of this, right. not having Dr. Bo, my father is your father, and, and previous injuries to that car accident set you up wherein the lower neck takes most of the punch. And when the lower neck gets injured, the head typically goes forward, right. the muscles get tight because when the curve is in your neck, your neck can be relaxed. When your neck goes straight or reverse, the muscles are perpetually tight because of posture. So there's a combination of the two, injury and then alignment are the two things that are creating that constant tension. Right. All right, the difficulty is that we have these little holes where the nerves pass through. Right. And that's why I asked you about your arms because when you're hitting the wires, you'll feel numbness in your fingers or burning in your arm, you know, symptoms we call radiation or radicular pain. Um, so you might have that if the neck didn't shift. And that's this principle of when you bend forward, I'm gonna use this just so you can see it easier. Yeah. The holes get bigger when yeah. you bend forward. Okay, so, and I don't have arm symptoms. Well, you might if your head was back. If your head's back, the muscles will not be contracted, but now your arms hurt. And so this is where a lot of chiropractors don't wanna do postural work because even though we might relieve some of that tension, we're gonna run into the nerve. Right. Because the front part of the spine has no feeling. I don't, you know, it, 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 it's, it's okay to be here versus if you come back, you start running into the things that your body went away from 30 years ago. So if we don't bring the head back, so why don't just leave it forward? And many people do, and we can go to therapy and pull your knees to your chest and just keep rounding forward. That tension will only get worse. You'll never relieve the tension. You right. can rub the muscles forever. That tension is postural. Um, but the deeper problem is that this piece of cartilage called the disc mm -hmm. ages at a faster rate. Right. And then once you run out of tread, you're going to hit that nerve yeah, anyway. You're going to run it. You're running to it anyway. Intervertebral foraminal stenosis will happen if we don't bring the head back. Bringing the head back, just like in the lumbar, takes the pressure off the disc, allows it to stop aging so much. Any, any possibility of dexterity being affected in the fingers? Because I still play. Well, it's, well, the way I would do it is this. We would first spend some time just adjusting you. Right. You understand? Massaging and just doing soft tissue, prepping the clay. Right. right? You can't, at 60, person 25, I can put a round of stretches. Right. Right? Person at 60, <laughs> yeah. we got to do. It is what it is. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just saying it's, it's, it, we have, you, can't, you can't speed through it. Yeah. Um, the body has habits and you can't break those habits quickly. So we would do trial runs. You'd okay. put on mild level stretch and you'd have to report back to me. How did that do? Ed, didn't like it too much. 
okay, well, we have to spend another five visits, right. <laughs> you know, or find somebody to, to work on the spine to lim make it limber, and then we do another trial run. Yeah, right. it's like it's like look at my my son's going through uh, allergy testing right now. It's like you know you you attenuate him, and then you give him a little trial run to see how his body handles it. And so postures like that, it has to be, you know, Gradual. changed gradually. A see, bit, a little harder yeah, to turn. Yeah, go ahead and turn left again. Now, when you when you turn your head left, you want to bring that right shoulder forward. So part of what <laughs> you know, I call it the Larry King. No, no, I, you okay. don't want to see. Watch me. Look at me. Look for a second. Look at me for a second. You know, part of what see you should be able to turn your head. You see how I'm not using my shoulders? Yeah. When you turn your head left, now you didn't to the right. When you turn your head left, you did this. Ah. You said you cheated. I called the Larry King model. Nice. Larry King was my poster child for, yeah. you know. <laughs> it was like he turned with his torso, yeah. not with his neck, because his neck was so stiff. Tough, yeah. um, but uh, go look up for me, just try to gently look up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna work on that extension. And then look down for me. Yeah, your neck is, your neck is really used to going down. And then looking up, we gotta get used to it a little bit more. Yep. Look straight forward. Yeah, you're good. We do about, about an inch and a half forward from your from your ear to the, the center of your shoulder. So the head weighs about 10 pounds. Every inch it goes forward. The muscles have to double their workload. So 10, 20, 40, somewhere between 20 and 40 pounds is how much muscular work your neck muscles are having right. to handle. It's a pretty level, not having to. Very, very, I'd say pretty level down there. We just have head translation. We have it on your back for me. Goal of the adjustment is to take the parts that are frozen and loosen them, and then leave the parts that are older alone. Okay. And that's the Jenga skill of the adjustment is can you, Dr. Ed, loosen my upper neck, which right. is primarily what I just told you has no surgery without manipulating and touching my lower neck and my middle back without touching the lower back. Okay. Bend the knees for me. There we go, cross this arm under. All right, take a deep breath in, a little sit up for me, and then lay your head back for me. Here we go. Oh, deep breath in. No, 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 it's go. good. Here we go. Exhale. All right, here we go. Deep breath in. Very good. One more. Exhale. Nice. A little surprising. You okay? It's okay. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm good. Just, I'm, I have a high tolerance for this stuff. <laughs> Sacro joint. Yeah, we're gonna loosen up. So we're gonna loosen up this sacroiliac joint, and then we're gonna loosen up the middle back here a little bit. Deep breath in. Uh huh. And breathe in deep. Exhale. There we go. There we go. Oh, good. That's that for me. Good. Very nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Breathe in deep. Exhale. Oh, good. Let's go face up for me. Uh huh. Very nice. Maybe you've noticed, feel how large this is on the right. Yeah. I don't really have much. <laughs> and there's some things, I don't know what these are, but there's like little nodules mm -hmm. right lymph here. Nodes. Yeah. yeah. The right. lymph, there's definitely a tighter, see the bone is drifted over to the right, and so the muscles here are working harder. Right. Because the bone's not leveled up here. Okay. Now, part of why that happens is because of either, like I said, whiplash injury or, pop, or the alignment that starts to become misaligned at a young age. Everything's over to the right here. Plus, my day job is at a desk, hunched over all day. I try to sit up straight, but you know how that is. I get you. I get it. It's a battle. Yeah. So the all the bones are shifted over to the right, and because they're over out of position, the muscles are having to contract to hold. It's like if I hold a bowling ball farther away from me, yeah. right? I have to work harder because it's not in the right alignment. If I hold it closer to me, it's less work. Yeah. The farther out of position or subluxated that a vertebrae is, the more the muscles are working to hold it all together. Part of that can be you know, joint injury, disc injury. You know, there's something that's unresolved inside that needs to be shine a flashlight on <laughs> to clean up and, and fix, and then the body won't need to avoid it. Like there's glass on the ground, and you keep on yep. taking a detour around it. So how about we sweep up that glass, <laughs> and then you won't need to take this detour, right? But there's yeah. something in here that your body's detouring around, yeah. inflammation, you know, uh, crystals, arthritis, um, but yeah, this right side needs some attention, so we're gonna start on the right here. I'm gonna go pretty gentle here, just gonna try and move this top guy a little gentle here. There you go, here we go. Oh. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Okay, a little surprising, yeah, I know. It's loud. You did great, you did great. Pretty boring, you just gotta keep, yeah, sit here and work this, like I said, like scrubbing a tub. Well, do your thing. Okay, we're gonna scrub all this. 
If I'm going too hard, let me know. I'm going to keep going no, deeper. I have high tolerance for deep tissue okay. massage. Right. I have had a few deep tissue massages over the last few years. Okay. Has anybody seen this? I mean, they kind of tackled this a little bit? Uh, here? Somewhat, Try although and... therapist skill levels vary. Okay. Yours is better. <laughs> so. I, I wake up every morning for the last 15 years, and this is all I do. So there, there, should, be, there should be an effortlessness. Um, I don't know what an analogy would be either. There shouldn't be, like, it's like, I don't know if you, maybe you have your strings and the guitar so taut, you know, mm -hmm. you know, they should be able to move, but not so loose, you know, there's, right. there's a balance somewhere they in there. They shouldn't be flopping on the neck, they, but they should be right. mobile. Right. Yeah. Right. You're, these are, these strings are held, you know, wound up too tight. Yeah. So we got to loosen these cables a little bit. Yeah. Um, That's good. Oof. That's the mm -hmm. Where the toxins come out. That's right. Yeah, like Chinese figured this out a long time ago. You can yeah. just comb the tissue and then the acidity, like right there, right over that. Probably light up like a Christmas tree. Yep. Would be my guess. <laughs> so the the tight of the, the muscles are intricately woven with the lymphatics, and when the muscles get tight, they they crimp the lymphatic lines that drain mm -hmm. the nodes, and that's what you're noticing in your neck are yeah. blockages where the the lymph is our sewer pipes, and so essentially yeah. it ultimately drains to your bloodstream, but it's a way to process dead tissue, and your body channels it through the sewer pipes. Yep. Okay, and so it's like a comb to your hair to me, to some degree. You can't use your fingers through your hair in the same way a comb. Right. <laughs> right, so there's different tools for, this is like a comb for the muscle fibers. It combs them and okay. tries to align them so that... Most of the fibers in the neck, for instance, run straight up and down, right? So you're see me. I'm not combing you know, so much this direction, right? You're combing right. along in the direction, in the, direction the fibers run, right? So, yeah. You know, and when, so when we have an injury, just a, the original tissue is pretty lined up like this, mm -hmm. right? So it, it contracts and you know stretches and contracts. When you have a tear, <laughs> it heals, <laughs> right? Like that. And so you go to stretch that, and it's like now it's doing this. Yeah. It's not doing the original. And so what we're trying to do is we're combing the tissue, right? We're combing that, trying to get it somewhat back to close to the way it was right. when you were born. That's, that's it. Makes it's just, we, we, we have injuries and whiplashes and we don't heal the same. The fabric has a patch now in it. But yeah, it's bigger right there. It was a much larger, darker mark, it. right? Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, but on, on his easy I mean, on his right side. I mean, there's some on the left, but this is at least three, four times. Wow. We want your neck to bend where okay. it's young, and that's what that's why I asked about a picture earlier, and that would be the proof that I could show you and say, you know, here, look, your low, your upper neck is the same as it was when you were 20, and your lower neck is now 80. Right. <laughs> right. So part of your spine is older than you are, and part of your spine is well, most of your spine is younger than you are, and so the the postural work, the, the the goal is for it to happen, not where your spine is older, it's for it to happen where it's younger, right. and therefore it isn't difficult. But it stayed young because it doesn't move. And so when we ask you to change your posture, your body's first you know, inclination is gonna to be to do it where you're loose, yeah. and therefore, ow, you're hurting me. Like right near, these are lymph yeah. nodes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little, little, like little, feel like little peas. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's outside of the circulatory system, so it's not like you're sick. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's outside. It's not in the. And my third, first thought was any trigger points or what are they? But then I'm glad mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. clarify exactly what we're dealing. Yeah, with. yeah. Just it's there's a called that there's around the sternocleidomastoid. This is the, this is the barrier we use. There's we call them anterior cervical chain, posterior cervical chain. There's all these lymphatic network chains around the right. these muscles, and you know it's a it's what drains your sinuses, your face, your ear, your middle ear, all that drain. Left high shoulder, which is elevating his whole left side, and that's making his head go over to the right. Must be how he plays. 
in a way. You said you, you're sort of t tilting and leaning to the right. Yep. Yeah, and that's, so the position that you're in for the most amount of time is where your body wants to yeah. stay forever, yeah. right? And so then it's like chewing, it's like if you only chewed food on the right side of your mouth, you know, the teeth on the right would age at a faster rate. Your jaw right? would be larger on the right side. <laughs> You all pop eye on one side. Yeah. So it's balanced. The muscles are working hard, right? Yeah. So all that, when I look at your pain diet, all this tension all over his back. Ultimately, the work that you're doing, the playing that you're doing, puts your spine in alignment that could be a result of the injuries that accelerate. You have an injury and your body yeah. goes to a position, then you're more comfortable in it, you sleep in that position, and now to undo it, we have to spend Most time. side sleeper, generally. You sleep on the, on the left side? Would you? Both, either, uh -huh. either, but I generally don't sleep on my back, or uh -huh. I do occasionally, but I definitely don't sleep on my stomach. My yeah. arms go numb if I do that. Gotcha. Yeah, we just need to remind this part of your body. That's what you try to move some work back over here. Like yes, scar tissue in there. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. The crunching is on the yeah, left side here. That you literally can hear it when you're moving it. Yeah. I can hear it. You can hear it externally too. Yeah. There's just there's just cables. These are all yeah. these cables around your shoulder blade that are. Yeah. That's where the. Oh man. Yep. The ribs are elevated too, also. So it's not only that the cables are tight, but the ribs are yeah. elevated based on that tilting that's going on, and then that makes it easier to strum the strings. Yep, it hurts, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, man. Jeez. I didn't know it was all in there, Ed, uh, yeah, until you started digging. Good Lord. have a mid-back pull and that's mm -hmm. rare but it happens where it just I don't even know what I did and all of a sudden I feel like well, it was an injury it's an injury there walking along if you're a twinge of pain and it lasts for like two days That's what the twinge is. The twinge is yeah. there's, there's yeah, something in there. That's exactly all, there. It's right there. Right. All of a sudden, you compress this, and then yeah. you you step on the glass. Yeah, that's the exactly. Best yeah, you're, you're walking over uh -huh. an area, and then you step on that piece of glass that's in here. And that describes it perfectly. And you're like, whoa, what the heck is that? And it can be just walking. Like, right. Why, am I, why did that happen now? Well, you, you became more upright for a second. Maybe you had to yeah. lean up to grab something, you know, and then you, it compresses this yeah. area. While if you can stay forwardly rotated, you don't notice it as much, and then something happens where you have to come back onto the joint. All right. The joints are loaded with pain fibers, and that's the back side of your spine. Mm -hmm. And hence why every elderly person's all Hunched quasi yeah. they're, they're running away. And you, you can, but then your shoulders fall apart, your knees right. fall apart, your hips fall apart, your yeah. organs. You know, I asked about in, your stomach was, you know, the nerves that go to your stomach come yeah. from in here. Yeah. And so quite commonly when there's a lot of inflammation in here, Indigestion, you know, problems of the you know, rest of the digestive system happen because the nerves from your back are inflamed and they shut down the organs. Got it. So the world doesn't connect the dots that, oh, by the way, <laughs> your stomach issues are really a spinal issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many other people in your band? Uh, I'm actually in two different groups uh -huh. one does original one does cover and original there's five people per okay. okay and you sing and play 
I do some vocal, but I'm I'm not the one that would do lead vocals. Probably, probably ten percent of the material I'm doing some type of harmony part or background vocal. Okay, I got you. A little Dave, little Dave roll. I got yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much playing guitar. Okay, I got you. Uh, there, you can hear it. Yep. Yeah. Eventually, phrase the rotator cuff tendon. You know, if you leave this here for you know, decades, yeah. you'll actually have. You know, yeah, they're telling me I have a torn rotator cuff. So that was based on the alignment <clears throat> that your shoulder was in for a long period of time. Right. Made the tendon easily terrible. You know. Yeah. That's what I want to avoid. Mm -hmm. This all has to go in in order to even bring your shoulders back. This all has right. to clear out. You need a break. Let him know. No, I'm good. <laughs> I got Kit Kat bars over there. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off the piece. Uh, whenever I do deep tissue, they're always like, you're doing it too hard. I'm like, nope. No good, get nope. it. I'm going right. for it. That's my first, that's my that's patience I like. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, there. Get it. Yeah. Don't put a limiter on my throttle. Mm -hmm. No governor, please. No governor, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. That yeah. I hear, yeah. You can hear that, can mm -hmm. you? Hello. Oh, man. Am I bothering anybody in here? Yeah. They're <laughs> upset. Excuse me. They haven't been disturbed in a while. <laughs> oh, party's over again. Party's over again! <laughs> I used to go to undergrad at Eckerd College, so I made that drive up to St. Pete. Yeah. Quite a bit. Mm. Super red. Yes, sir. You are. I kind of figured that. Yeah. There's lots of red. I've seen some of the videos. Some people turn the light red. Some people like the beet red. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So what I really appreciate about the gua sha. It gets the whole tissue. I love cupping, but it, you know, you're missing something. Something. I, I did have that done once. Yeah. Exactly. And they, and they, you can do. They do stuff where they move the cup, which is, I think yeah. is a little better if you can move the cup around. But, or then you have to replace it and just. It's a, little, it's a little too inactive for me. It's kind of a yeah. set it and forget it. I like the gua sha. It gives me the, get a kinesthetic awareness of the tissue by working it. I have to agree. Mm -hmm. But that's a... Michael Phelps opened the door for everybody during that one Olympics. He had all those circular hickey marks all over his chest. And you know, the most decorated Olympic athlete of all time. He's got bruises. Huh. You know, pretty sure he's not doing that to goof around. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think he knows what he's doing. I think he knows what he's doing, right? He's got 20-something gold medals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe there's something to this gua sha and cupping. And <laughs> Epsom salt bath would be just almost a requir requirement when you get home. Just if you can uh, soak in a tub, 15, 20 minutes, a couple cups. Mm -hmm. Minimal water initially if you can, if, if it's not too uncomfortable, or just get it as concentrated as possible okay. if you can, and then, then fill it up and then soak. But um, 
drink a little bit, you know, throughout the throughout the day, drink some extra water today. Exactly, that's the sensation. It's exactly, uh, is exactly that you feel. It's like that doesn't belong. Yeah, it's like a stiff knot mm -hmm. that's tender to the touch. Mm -hmm. And there's that spot. Full it's synthetic. Full synthetic, right? Uh, it's all pouring out of here. Last me five thousand miles, hopefully. <laughs> Tricep is sore. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. Well, you're a guitar player. I just. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Once you told me that, I have enough of. A, I've worked on enough musicians. Uh, yeah. I know, I know where you guys hide it. Where right. you guys hide everything. Uh, Spinal sins. Mm-hmm. I feel like, no, I see it. Dang. Right? Behind your shoulder. Oh, jeez. I mean, if it hurts, if it hurts good, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, that's the only way to describe mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Real quick, it comes out. Just instantly turns. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah a... When it's that tender to touch initially, yeah. just on a light pressure, that that just means there's a lot of acidity. Yeah. It's like having a a bruise on your arm, and you touch it, and it's real sore, and then the bruise goes away, and then it's no longer sore. It's that, but at like ten times the level. Right. Right. So you have there's no normal lactic acid you know, or soreness build up in your body. It's trapped either from repetitive motion, posture, you know, and then... It's, it's a lot in there, brother. This is a guitar. This is a guitar shoulder. This is what a hairstylist will have the same thing. Hairstylists, uh, guitar <laughs> musicians. It's because when you're when you're in the middle of playing for four or five hours, you can't like, oh, my arm hurts. Let me just stop playing. Just push through. You just shut. <laughs> you tell your shoulder to shut up, and you keep, keep doing it. Keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> right till the show's over. And that's what this is. Yeah. This is this is abuse. Your you, your body told you to stop, and you said sorry. You gotta finish. You gotta finish. And you had your arms in a you know in a aberrant posture. Let's call it you know, yeah. not not center posture. And so. Oh, 
That's crunchy. Mm -hmm. All right, sitting creates this. This is yeah. Your, this is your sitting house, my day gig, right? Jeez. Oh. oh God. Right there. Yeah. yeah. I should show you the pain diagram chart. My body chart. He was like, it's everywhere. He had the whole thing. <laughs> he had the whole thing marked. Some people just make a giant circle. Yeah. I like how you actually drew. I, I appreciate that. Some people just go. Yeah, I like tried to X out right where it was. He put, he put detailed yeah. marks on where it was. Like, okay, I'll check it all out. Like he's got it everywhere, pretty much. Bang for my buck. Gonna spend as much time in the areas that he marked. All right. Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. Good grief. Uh -huh. <laughs> That side too. It, you know, it's weird. It used to just be on my right, but now uh -huh. it, you never know. I, sometimes it bothers me from the left. Sometimes it bothers me from the right. Uh -huh. There's something going on right there. Right there. Yeah. There's. Jeez. That's an injury. That's not just sitting in a chair. Something happened. Yeah. Now. Oh God. The difference. That's an injury. That's it actually stays in a certain border. That's where the, the bomb went off and it <laughs> shrapnel went around. Everywhere but that's, else. but yeah, that's, oh, man. cause it just, it pretty much just stops right there at the crest. It means it goes right to the crest and then that's yeah. where the, all right. Yeah, come on up for me. No, oh, good grief. <laughs> wow. That's, I mean, yeah, you can see where the trouble spots are. Their shoulder though. Yeah, they, I didn't just turn red. You're right, I turned like, that's like dark. Yeah, that's dark old stuff. Spots. And like, you know, probably could overlay that with your where you were scribbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's, these are all, that's all inflammation Jeez. that's just trapped in there. Wow. Suck that out. It's going to be a little bit worse for a couple of days as that's stirred up. Right. And then when those marks go away, you should be like, there we go. Yeah, I <laughs> you know. feel like way more loosened up <laughs> than I have in years. Now that we got some of the muscular tightness out, I'm trying to see if I can get the joints moving a little better. Right. There we go. Oh, there it is, nice. Yeah, yeah. There's more in there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let him go. Let him go. Mm. There we go. More moved. Yeah, there we go. All right. Old fortifications that were busting loose. Your body's not going to just welcome that with open arms. Yeah. It's going to have to be. I use the deep tissue work to make it less agonizing, but yeah. Oh, uh -huh. oh my god! <laughs> Not the hamstrings, Ed. Oh. All right. Oof. One second, let me get contact first and then lock button tilt right a little bit. Here we go a little bit, okay. Here we go, tilt right. Okay, okay. Alright. Tilt your head to the left a little bit for me. There a little bit. There you go, pop. A little bit. Tilt to the left. Okay, alright. Oh boy, wow. A little sore in here. A little. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Too much weight on the toes is gonna make these joints get inflamed. Part of it is when, we're, when your head goes forward, yeah. the weight goes onto our toes. The weight right. belongs back here on your calcaneus. Yeah. You know, so it's a, you got, you know, metatarsal, tarsal, phalange inflammation yeah. here, but I would, you know, take a gander that it's because you have too much stress on these toes. Wow, okay. And you want to work on this direction. You don't want to do that. Yeah. You want to curl that way. Yes, sir. This is what causes hammer toes and you know bunions all that kind of stuff happens because there's too much weight right all right i got you like i got you there we go okay okay Ooh. gotcha all right
kind of targeting the middle, let leg straight if you can, if it's not too uncomfortable. And then you'll take your hand, you'll place it on your forehead to get your head to sink in. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If you can, a little bit, and then put your hand back down. So you just do that for about, just briefly, does that make sense? Yeah. To get your head to sink in. And then it's really just, you're just relaxing. It's just time. Okay. Middle upper neck is what we're trying to target. So not the, where it might have a, let me say, inclination to fall down to your lower neck where it's looser, right? Right. Into the valley of your lower neck. We want to keep it in your upper neck to make that area do the bending. And that's how we're going to reduce all that tension in your neck. We have to get that curve back in your neck. And this is to help restore the curve. Right? It's the only way. Yeah. Okay. It was, it's stretching that makes the curve go away and it's stretching that restores it. For a hundred years, chiropractors taught that adjustments can do it and it's not possible. And how often should you do this? 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes at a minimum, day. you know, okay. but, but the first checkpoint is 20 times 20 minutes. So if you did okay. two a day, be 10 days, you want to do it 20 times for 20 minutes. Okay. Um, I usually put the TV on or music on, you lay, yeah. lay on the floor. I have patients that actually put TVs on their ceiling, <laughs> whatever. whatever I'm just saying whatever works for you, but it's, you gotta, it's, it's just letting your body sink into the ground. See, by the, by the 12th time you do it, you're actually starting to do it properly. Right. The first dozen times you do it, you really aren't even doing it properly because your neck is still so stiff, it doesn't want to go into it. Right. That's partly my job on the table is to get you loosened up so that your neck is compliant so that it'll actually stretch over the device. So sometimes patients will say, well, wasn't that difficult initially, and now all of a sudden it's difficult. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because now you're actually doing it properly. Your neck's actually bending into it. So the contraindication, if anything starts going numb in your hands, mm -hmm. anything going tingly, anything yeah. burning down the arm, Stop. get off. Uh, it shouldn't happen. Uh, but the goal, generally though, I, after about a month of not, of not being adjusted, I probably wouldn't do this. You yeah. know, it's, it's meant to be used in concert with care. Okay. You know, it's, it's, so if you, you know, at the very least deep tissue massage on the upper neck, just look left for me. There we go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> To your right, yeah, yeah. Look up for me. Yeah, much better. Yeah, just made your joints all supple. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's nowhere near the stiffness I had before. Yeah, very really cool. All right, well, appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Nice to we'll meet you. Yeah, thank you all very much. It's great. <laughs>